What's going on guys? Are you going to Cape Coral? Are you curious of where you might want to go to? Well, here's five restaurants that I went to that I would recommend. Now, they're not all in Cape Coral, but they are in the surrounding areas, including Sanibel Island. All right, hope you guys enjoy. If you're looking for a nice place to eat outside, the Boathouse, Tiki Bar and Grill in Cape Coral is a great choice. Here's the entrance to get in. You can actually go here and eat on the beach. Like the water is coming up on the beach. This is where we sat. Right behind me here is some live music. I didn't want to play it because it's so loud. Um, but it, it was good. It was good live music. And of course, it's going to be someone different. It's not always going to be that guy. Uh, nice outdoor seating. This is after we ate. This is as we were leaving. I wanted to make another video just kind of showing uh, another location that you can see where you can go and eat. There's lots of room here. And there's lots of parking here. And there's even parking for your boat if you're on a boat. This is on the Caloosahatchee River. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Here's a little video. Feel free to pause if you want to stop and read something of their uh, their menu here nobody at our table complained about any of the food I thought it was fantastic I had the mahi mahi finger basket I'm pretty sure yeah that's what I had there it is it was delicious it was super good and then here are some other photos. Hurricane evacuation plan. Grab beer, run like hell. Uh, big boat. <laughs> big big boat. A big chair for you guys to sit in. There's that outdoor seating that I was talking about that's on the beach. The water's coming up. And it's just really cool. There's a fishing dock there. From a little bit farther back as well. And if you look in the description, if you want to find this place, I will have the address there. There's gas pumps there if you need to fill up your, your boat. And then that's all the parking for the boats. And that lights all the way at the end is the restaurant. What's up, guys? Going to... There it is. I see my reflection. That's me. There you go. Lazy Flamingo. That's where I'm going. Super bright outside. Look, there's the golf. Can you see it? Let's go get some food. Here's the menu again. If you want to pause at any point, feel free to pause to see what they have. This place is on Sanibel Island, and this place was so good. I got a chicken sandwich with conch fritters. I've never had conch before, and it was phenomenal. All right, here's a picture of walking up. That's a very small parking lot, but there is an extra parking lot right across the road. That's the entrance walking up to it. Sitting at the bar. This food was phenomenal here. It was so, so good. There's that chicken sandwich. And there's those conch fritters. So good. So the next place I went to was the Bubble Room. So this is also on Sanibel Island, and this place is crazy.
So walking in here, <laughs> I didn't realize all these people are going to be standing here while I... They just opened for dinner while I'm recording. I was like, uh, um... <laughs> So I, pa I paused it until I was getting ready to get sat there. So this place is Christmas every day. And they say Merry Christmas to you. And it's, it's a crazy wonderland. And those are all fish tanks. They were playing some kind of 50s music. It was really fun vibes. It's just it was a lot to take in because I had no idea what I was getting ready to like endure. They have this balcony overlooking a Christmas room with like a popcorn. Was, this place was super cool. And that little table right there is like on a little trolley. <laughs> I recommend anybody to go here. I didn't actually eat anything because I did just recently had lazy flamingos like two hours before I went here. But it is also on Sanibel Island. And I just figured I had to go there. Um, this one might be a little bit harder to read, but there are the, there is the, the menu that you can kind of go over and look. This was on the way to the restroom. <laughs> There's the bar. Um, super cool. It was just, it was, there's so much to take in. Uh, and then right across the street from this place, they have another store that you can go into. And they have all kinds of knickknacks and stuff. There's another look at the little Christmas room. Uh, I tried to take as many pictures as I could here. Cause, oh, so they that is a dessert plate that they show you. And I got a piece of cake or cheesecake, I think. And that pineapple drink, which was so good. So good, but massive. I had to take it. I had to get a box because it was just so much food. It was so much food, but fantastic. I highly recommend you going here if you go to Sanibel Island. It is for sure worth it. Uh, it it's it's a lot to take in. <laughs> it's like what is going on? Bubble Room Gorilla. Next up, we do have the Jungle Bird. Jungle Bird is a tiki bar, and it is in Cape Coral. It's downtown Cape Coral. And, again, the food here was amazing. I did get something small, just a small bite. And I had the sliders. The sliders were so good. And I just want to say, once you go in, if you stay, like, if you go into the tiki bar area, this area here... It's so fun in there, and the people right there to the right invited me to sit right by them, whatever, and we talked. It was it was cool. That's my my uh, I ordered a drink, and that's the tiki glass that I got. Here's a wine list here, and all of their t if you if you get a glass and you like it, it's for sale. All the glasses range from like thirty five to seventy, I think. I think that's what they said thirty five to seventy dollars. Mine, I, I like my little tiki guy with his little naked butt in the back. Uh, all those up at the bar are all tiki glasses that you can buy. You can buy it. There, there's so many cool ones. And then they have their regular ones as well. Here's a little video going over the menu. So feel free to pause at any time. I got those Hawaiian sliders. They're so good. There were so many things here that I wanted to come back and try, but I just ran out of time. I just ran out of time. A little video the inside the tiki bar. It's really cool vibes in here. It was like storming, thunderstorming outside. So it was really kind of cool to be in here um, while I was doing that outside. It is darker in there, so it's... Hard to see. But look at those. They were so good. <laughs> All of them. Fantastic. Fantastic. You see the bathtub? There's a little bathtub. A little tiki bathtub. I, I wanted it. I tried to zoom in on the bathtub. That's what that was there. For sure got to go to this place if you're in Cape Coral. It's the Jungle Bird. And look in the description to see the location. And for your breakfast place, I would recommend Crisp 
Crapery. This place was delicious. They had I had a fantastic crepe. And it was it was I had the crepe Suzette right there. Sorry it's angled all goofy there. But it was so good. So delicious. So if you like crepes and you like something small for breakfast, this would be a good place to go. Everything was like, yeah, look at that. It had ice cream on it. <laughs> I know it's not really <laughs> breakfast, but it was delicious. <laughs> Very nice and quiet on the inside. Uh, there was only one other table besides me, and they were behind me. Uh, I wasn't there super early in the morning, but I don't get up super early in the morning. Crisp cre crepery, very good. Highly recommend for a quick, small bite for breakfast. Those are the five restaurants that I recommend in and around Cape Coral. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.